A very good evening. This is Abigail R. Karmalim bringing you the Slation News across the globe. The Don Bosco Nyanyi Youth Center on the sidelines of the day of the African trial on 16 June organized two days of activities to promote and protect the rights of vulnerable children in and around Goma. On 17 June, Florentine Kawa and expert in child protection conducted an awareness raising session for those responsible for the controls of the Don Bosco Nyangi refugee camp. During the session, emphasis was placed on the need to discourage parents from using their children for begging and other dangerous jobs on the street, a problem unfortunately very visible in Goma, especially at this time when several displaced people have settled on the borders of the city of Goma. On 18 June, a celebration was organized at the Casa Gahinja in the center, bringing together displaced children, street children and other children in difficult life situations. On 8 June, 11 solutions from the Don Bosco Crescetta International Institute were ordained deacons by Bishop Alessandro Giraudo, the Auxiliary Bishop of Turin. The new deacons are De Jesus Jose M. R. Fernandez from Timor-Leste, Giuliano Tommaso from Italy, Kenime Rufin from DR Congo, Vicardi Mariano Filippo from Italy, Lopez Alarico Casimero from Timor-Leste, Nioyi Tungira Emmanuel from Burundi, Panmei Anthony from India, Privor Joseph from Zek Republic, Rosie Palak Jan from Zek Republic, Torella Paolo from Italy, and Vivo Loku John from Nigeria. Salation Mission Day was held on 8 June at the Don Bosco Technological Institute in Port Morrisby, the theme being Builders of Dialogue. Members of the Salation family participated, including ADMA, Past Peoples, FMA, Character Sisters of Jesus, Missionary Sisters of Mary Help of Christians. Salation Cooperators and Salations. The program began with a stimulating Taizi prayer led by Ricard Lavilla and the missionary group from the Don Bosco Technical School, Gabuto. After the prayer, Father Angel Sanchez SDP led the participants in Lectio Divina, inviting them to reflect on the history of the Samaritan women and encouraging them to reflect on their lives and relationships. The Youth Ministry Delegates and Network Heads met at the Salesian Provincial House, New Delhi from 10 to 12 June. It was organized by Don Bosco Youth Animation South Asia, DBYASA, with the theme Strategizing and Collaborating for the Youth Ministry. The meeting began with the solemn Holy Eucharist presided over by Father Vijay Soy, the Vice Provincial of New Delhi. The energetic young people of Salishan Youth Movement of Don Bosco Yuva Kendara Nazavgar welcome all the delegates with their melodious songs. To celebrate the World Refugee Day, June 20th on 11 June, Don Bosco International, the Jesuit Refugee Service Europe, JRS, the Chapel for Europe and St. Egidio, Belgium held an event entitled Voices of Hope with the aim of promoting positive stories and best social practices with people on the move. The event started with the story of Tithyana Romanchenko who shared her experience of integration in Belgium after fleeing Ukraine. She underlined both the difficult moments as well as the inspiring achievements including the education and social life of her children in the migrant community in Belgium. So viewers, that is all we have for you today. Till we meet again, thank you for joining us.